Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Let's crack on with this Prothean Artifact mission. Did I go through that building? Oh no, I'm double checking. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 We did. We're, we're good. But what have we got in here? Anything in here? Uh, resistance information update. We've got a word from our source within Eden Probe's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security centre between uh, 2200 hours and 2300 hours tomorrow night. The pulling in forces from across the colony, this gives us the perfect chance to, to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William uh, Cambieta to escape firing near miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information and with luck the locals will see him as a daring hero and the only man to escape the Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Get out the way! I'm trying to deal with this thing! Right, I'm bored of getting stuck in there. Yay, Pyromaniac's done. Right, anything in here to grab? There, that lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Alright then. I think we've got all the intel we need for the uh, resistance. If I remember rightly, there is there was only three. Alright. See what we've got here?
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. that one too yes excellent then we have everything we need to open the pod all right let's head back oh good Good job, everyone. Uh, been there. Yep, yeah, been through that. Go back this way. Been too hit. That's fine. I'm gonna go up here. Where's that coming from? Oh, over here, huh?
Right. Now that they're all taken care of. Ooh, ammo. And lots of it, thanks. Right, where's the way back across? This way? No. Elio. Vega. Oh, it's this way. I'm just an idiot. Transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Oh, guess what that means, everyone. Focus inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Right away. I'm on it. <laughs> nice job, Vega. Who said you can duck and roll? Ah, that's where you're coming from. Oh, it's you. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. I think we're good. Wait for the second wave to kick in, shall we? Heavy mech, don't let it get close. Get up!
Hey. God for that. All right, let's wake up Javik. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. He's confused. <laughs> Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the Cunning Empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now. Just you. You can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari, human, I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> Ooh, icy reception. A living Prophia. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. 
Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. <laughs> What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. <laughs> but he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. And what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... It's all our destruction, our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander, and nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dry. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, 
I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you. Witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid. A form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. A study in your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. <coughs> Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. <laughs> Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. 
Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reavers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean B.I. that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusano. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? <clears throat> what had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. All right, I think that's everything we can talk about for now. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Though I still need time to recover, the shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Yeah, must be a hell of a mindfuck for him. Oh, and now we've got uh, his rifle. Uh, right. Let's go around and have a chat with people. It's even more important in this one to chat. Cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. <laughs> right, I don't think there's anyone else to really talk to down here, so we'll go down to the shuttle bay. Open upgrades. Article rifle. Right. Still can't afford anything in there. Just verifying our parts backlog. Commander. I still can't believe it. 
A real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. You could say that. I hear the guy's not all there. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> I can't imagine. Brought forward 50,000 years. Last of your kind. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, here's hoping he can help us with the Reapers. Sounds like the Turians got hit pretty hard by the Reapers. So, the Turians want us to go find one of their politicians, huh? Nice to see we're being put to good use. <laughs> Alright, so no one's ready to have a proper chat yet. I don't know if everyone's effect affected in the same way, but I know that... Uh, Steve dies if you don't chat to him enough. And I would rather he, su he survived. Excellent. Let's see what we've got. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd. There's so much he could tell us. It's good to see you. Uh, the, th the things this Prothean must have seen, if they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess. When will we get another chance to learn more about their civilization? Attached notes on Prothean. All right. We should probably crack on and do some more space missions. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Thanks, trainer. Uh, yeah. Okay. Not going to bother with that one, really. The news ones aren't very interesting. We already know what they're about. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. <laughs> Commander. All right, I'll check with trainer, see if she has anything to add or say. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Commander? All right. Well, that's this first system done 100%, but we, we do need to do the others because after a while, you won't be able to, act, some of these systems you, can, you can't access anymore after a certain point. So it is important that you I found something. scan all the planets while they're available. Lost and found. Yay! Remains of a Reaper Destroyer. That'll be useful. Ready 20%? Crap. Alliance Naval Exploration Flotilla. It. Ooh, tearing over. Oh, hi, I have your dog with me, but you probably don't want it back because the Reapers are here. Kind of my fault, sorry. Ah, the cruiser Shanghai. Evasion successful. 
No! Damn it, I hate it when it's the... The thing I need is right on the edge where the thing arrives. Spec Ops Team Delta. Nice, right. Reapers eluded. Only 80% in there, done. Faster than light jump successful. Oh, why are you there? Fuel. Thanks. Reapers eluded. All right, that's this cluster one hundred percent done. All right, you're one hundred. You're not finished because there's one missing. Could go over here first, refuel, then see if we can get that last bit done in that other system. Because I really don't want to miss anything. It bugs me when I miss stuff. Right, there we go. And why? I upgraded the fuel capacity to 1500. Why is it now back down to 1000? They do not care for the downgrade. Ah, uh, there we go, cactus. Right, it's definitely not light jump successful. Right, so where the hell is it then? Reapers eluded. Why? Right, fuel, thanks. Faster than light jump successful. Alright, cool. That's Hades Gamma 100 percented. Right, there's a thing over here. Cerberus Lab. I definitely prefer getting the side stuff done in this before attempting the main missions because there's a strong chance Signal confirmed. that you could uh, miss out on some of the side stuff. Right, what's this? Javelin missile launchers. They sound very useful. Perfect. Or fuel, even better. Right, bye. Evasion successful. Thanks, Edie. I found something.
What have you found, ED? Credits. Perfect. And fuel. We'll take it. Alright, let's sort this Sanctum one out. And then in the next episode, we can... So you still can't take Javik with you on the first few missions. Interesting. Ooh, I do like that look for you, Liara. Ooh, actually, I Ooh, I don't know now. Which one do I prefer? Is it that one or that one? I like that one. We'll go with that one. All right, let's see how this upgrade works. Um, fitness, probably a good idea. Adrenaline, no, it can't boost you up. Frag grenade, yeah, that's probably a good thing to have. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret Cerberus lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how Cerberus is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what Cerberus is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, but I'm going to go around and collect all the random stuff that I can grab. Uh, finally here. Wow, the troops here are really intense. No one smiles, ever. And suicide on capture orders? Seriously? They call training inter uh, integration. I start being integrated tomorrow. Can't wait. Oh, you idiot. Make sure I grab all the intel I can. The more intel you can get, the better. Uh, do you mind? I was in the middle of something. Indeed. That's a journal, but not read it yet. Right, it's probably safe to read it now. Or not. Integration successful. Suicide on capture orders confirmed. Cerberus is my friend. Obey, protect humanity at any cost. Well, that doesn't sound uh, dodgy at all.
Oh, excuse me. Thank you. None of your nonsense. Ah, oh, damn it, I can hear one already. No thanks. Oh, hello. said it would be easy. Oh, God, this one gets a bit tense. I get, grab some more ammo.
the extraction point. Ready for pickup. Almost there. Sake. We're ready for extraction as soon as we can get here. Whoa! Look, what are you... Get out the fucking door, Shepard! Oh, thank God. Oh, I don't remember this one being that much of an issue. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. All right. That should be... There's a strength of a Batarian artifact where we are recovered from the kite's nest. Find someone on the Citadel who can use them. Okay. And the strike pistol. So, right. The main thing we can... The uh, only thing we can really do now is uh, the priority mission. Excellent. Right, let's check this, uh, the galaxy map. I just want to make sure that I can't get to the Shrike Abyssal yet. That's true. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Thanks, Taylor. <coughs> right. This is this is all a hundred percent, that's good. Okay, so there's definitely no Shrike Abyssal that I can access yet. Alright, that's fine. 
So with that in mind, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigmanator. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.